In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use an intention oil and what exactly is an intention oil. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. I'm finally getting around to filming it. Today we're going to be talking about intention oils. Let's start off by talking about what is an intention oil. It's what I have in my hands right here. There are hundreds of different recipes out there and you can even custom make your own. Um, I make my own and I sell them on Etsy. I charge my own, I wake in them. Um, I spend a lot of time and energy using moon phases and astrology and frequency and sound and scent and healing. Just I, I use a lot of different kinds of energies when I make mine. The oil that I have right here is actually my bay leaf oil. Now this has bay leaf powder, crushed bay leaves, and whole bay leaves. I charge these under the light of the full moon, and I also have them charging on an altar on their own. If you're interested in any of my oils, you can head over to my Etsy shop, but if you want to create your own, it's not hard, and you probably have some simple ingredients laying in your house right now. An intention oil is basically an oil that consists of a carrier oil and then essential oils, crystals, and herbs. Each carrier oil is specifically blended for an intention. So this one is basically for luck and good fortune and everything that bay leaves bring into our life. So maybe if you can't burn a bay leaf, you can use bay leaf oil. Now you can make intention oils for love, for money, for abundance, for healing, for cleansing, protection, just anything and everything you can make an intention oil to help push energy out of your life or invite energy into your life. Every intention oil, if done properly, has the power to bring out your own magic and your own power, your creativity. It's that divine energy within yourself that is invoked. So once you have your intention oil, whether you made it at home or you purchased one, here are five ways that you can use them every day. Number one, you can use an intention oil to anoint and prepare a candle for a ritual. Say you're doing a money ritual and you want to invite money into your life using a candle. What you will do is apply your oil all over your candle, put your intention into the candle however way you want to prepare it, and then you light it. Why do we use candles? Uh, the best way that I can describe it in my opinion is candles are very alchemical because it starts off in a solid form and it melts down into something completely different. It's a liquid form. It's a solid that goes into liquid and eventually it just, it's gone. It evaporates, right? The wax is just evaporated and you're using the element of fire. And also then you're putting in your own intention, your own herbs, your own oils, crystals. You know, you can use photos on your candles. You can engrave your candles. It's a lot of intention going into something that is transforming. So in essence, you are actually transforming your life with this ritual using candles and applying intention oils on your candles is so easy and it's so, and it's so powerful and it's so magical. Say you made a love oil, a love intention oil blend. You would use it on a red or a pink candle. Say you have a success intention oil. You wanna use an orange candle. All you need to do, the simplest thing, is just drop a few drops into your candle and light it. Or you can go even more extravagant, is you can poke some holes into your candle, drip a little bit in there, or you can rub it all around your candle after you engrave your candle. Whatever way your spirit calls you to do it, you can get as intricate as you want, or you can just keep it simple. Just drop a few drops and light your candle. If you have a protection oil blend, you can rub that on a black candle to invoke protection in your life of your energy, your home, your career, your work, everything around you. If you have a money oil blend, you can use green or gold candles. The second way you can use an intention oil is to drop a few drops into your bath water. So this is actually very, very powerful because when you take a bath, it's very cleansing. You're cleansing your energy, your aura, your mind. Um, so when you cleanse, you are like a empty blank canvas, right? So you want to invite the energy that you want to invite. So why not do it with an intention oil? What I like to do is drop a few drops of love oil or beauty oil into my bath water. Not only does it smell so good and it makes my skin so soft, but it also invokes that energy and it just kind of 
coats my aura and my energy with that energy. The third way you can use an intention oil is by rubbing it or sprinkling it by your front door. So you can take a little bit and rub it on your front door, on the four corners of your front door, or you can rub a sigil um, or a symbol on your front door with it or you can sprinkle it right in front of your entrance door. Now, you could do protection oil so that your home is protected from the energies um, outside of your home. And also like when the mailman comes or you have deliveries or maybe somebody's coming over, which probably right now during quarantine is not gonna happen, um, but different people carry different energies. So your home will be protected. You can also rub money oil or sprinkle money oil in front of your front door to attract money into your home, into your life. You can also sprinkle love oil or rub love oil on your front door to invite love and to just strengthen and amplify the love in your home. There's so many ways you can invite magic into your home by using an intention oil and your front door. The fourth way that you can use an intention oil, and this is one of my favorite ways that I like to use it, is on your vision boards, your planners, um, like a list of your goals, list of things you want to manifest, your scripting pages, your journal. So basically anything where you are projecting your manifestations, you're kind of telling the universe what you want to attract, rub an intention oil on there because it amplifies it and protects it and kind of just boosts the energy. So bay leaf oil would be perfect for stuff like that. Or you could also use abundance oil blends. You can use protection oil so that you protect your manifestations. You can also use like road opener intention oils so that uh, obstacles are removed from all the things that you want to manifest and the fifth way to use an intention oil is to dab a little bit on yourself every day so this is something I do probably on a daily basis I have so many intention oils like if you can see behind me these are a few that I sell in my shop um, the bay leaf oil so I have a collection with me that I use all the time four different intentions of course what you want to do is dab a little bit on yourself to infuse your energy with the energy of your intention so what I like to do is rub it on my wrists, behind my ears, on my neck a little bit, which comes to, um, say you are suffering from communication. You need to open up your throat chakra. You would get a intention oil for throat chakra or communication, and you'd rub that right here to help you communicate, to open up that chakra, to clear the blocks that are preventing you from expressing yourself. Heart chakra, what you would do is get a probably love oil or a heart chakra oil blend and you would rub it uh, around where your heart chakra is. You could do that for each one of your chakras. If you are overthinking and just too much in your head, you feel chaotic in your head and just lots of thoughts, that means you have way too much energy in your head, which means way too much energy in your crown chakra, way too much energy in your third eye chakra. You need to ground yourself. So you can use a grounding oil on your root chakra um, to kind of balance your energy out. You can also use protection oil or cleansing oil to protect yourself or to cleanse yourself of negative energy. So intention oils, you could use them for so many different ways. You could use them for so many different purposes and they just help you boost and amplify energy. So those are five ways that you can use an intention oil. Now, that's just five ways. There are so many more ways. If you guys want a part two, leave me a comment down below, like this video, and I can work on a part two because I actually really do wanna do a part two. There are other ways you can use it that are very, very powerful and that I feel like a lot of you guys would benefit from knowing, especially right now. We can gain control of our emotions and our spirituality right now. Um, and I feel like it's very important so that we don't go into anxiety and don't go into scarcity and lack mentality and just kind of get a grip on our emotions and our mental state by using herbs and oils and crystals. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys real soon.